This is made out of alkyne. So far I've made three different drums, basically the same way they've been done throughout time. Heartbeat Year 4. We're thrilled that you're joining us. <laughs> Heartbeat is an annual event that happens in Vancouver's downtown east side which celebrates the shared traditions of drumming, dance and storytelling between Indigenous and Irish cultures. This includes the Luxtilum Drum Group, who are a group of Indigenous and non-Indigenous drummers from the Carnegie Community Centre Cultural Sharing Programme, and Kyolabu, a group of local Irish traditional musicians. Haida Lasses, Delong Elf Quat Logan, Nicole Bird, Hinu Dikang. Hello everyone, hello good people. I am so honored to be able to be here to share with you today, Hearts Beats with my co-host Susie. While we celebrate shared traditions, Hearts Beat is about honoring and respecting each other's distinct cultures in caring and careful ways. We are mindful in organizing this event that the history and legacy of the encounter between indigenous and Irish people has been mixed and the triumph of Irish communities over the suffering and discrimination they faced on the shores of Ireland and elsewhere must be balanced against the role they've played and continue to play as settlers in the dispossession of Indigenous people and their lands. So thank you for being here and uh, seatbelts on. It's going to be a wonderful event, jam-packed. Okay, over to Luxtilo. Hello everyone, it's me, Nicole, again. <laughs> I've changed. So, I'm very honoured. This is with Lukstilam in front of you. I was interested in Irish drumming because one of my grandfathers is an Irishman. Four years ago, Eilish, who has been involved with the Learning Exchange for a number of years, and Blake, who is an international award-winning Bowron player, began running Bowron workshops to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. These workshops are a space to learn about the history of the Irish hand drum and how to play it, and regularly turn into a musical exchange as folks bring their own cultural drum and share their own stories and songs. And one of our patrons, Isaac, who's from Haida Gwaii, we were chatting and I turned to Isaac and I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is the Bowron, this is our Irish, Irish drum and Isaac was like oh your drum looks like my drum and it was just in that one sentence that we realized that you know there was a story to tell here. Isaac then connected myself, Eilish and Blake to the cultural sharing program and to Nicole who is the Indigenous Programs Coordinator at the Carnegie Community Centre. Nicole and Susie and their staff all have the same energy and their input and output of cultural sharing. I thought they'd make a good team. And they have, still are. You're out of the train and you're out of the train. Oh, we'll move backwards. Did you know much about Irish culture before you joined the Boston Workshop? Uh, I, knew the, I know the Boston, Boston Celtics, and, and that was about it, really. So. Concert coming, I thought that was great to get our leaders together to come to a better understanding of our culture. Hello, please do it. On behalf of the Office of the Consulate General of Ireland in Vancouver, I would like to congratulate all concerned on the hosting of this year's Downtown Eastside Heart of the City Festival. So I want to show this off, okay? So this is my drum case, and this case was gifted to me 
by friends at Musqueam. And I'm very honored to have this as the case that holds my Balrog. I said that in uh, Irish traditional music, the Balran is the heartbeat of Celtic music. And then, I think it was Sam, said, well, in our culture, it is the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And from that short discussion, a visualization of the concept, the distinctive drums, and yet the unity in terms of the sense of purpose and, uh, and music and uh, the rhythm and the power of the drum. When the Irish sing that fast song, I'm, I'm wanting to dance, you know. <laughs> 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 Do the jig. <laughs>think of different cultures and their music and their traditions, there are actually a lot of similarities. There's more similarities than differences. And I think the community have really appreciated that too. The downtown Eastside has a stigma and stereotype within the media around many people being drug addicts, many people passing away from the opioid crisis. Also, indigenous people in the downtown east side deal with racism and stereotypes constantly. Yeah, there's a lot of forgotten people and, and other people need to be reminded that, they, that they're here, right? I mean, just a few blocks down here, is all these people, and they're all forgotten, right? And it's, it's not their fault. It's not their fault at all. I'm a residential, residential school product. And from there, I got messed up on Skid Row down here. I remember one of my own people he brought me to BC Place, and then all of a sudden I heard that big noise. Drum, yeah. I seen my people marching out, drumming, and I started crying. I started crying. I was so powerful that it made me cry. Yeah. Until the drum came into my life, when I heard it at the BC Place, that was what was missing my culture, my cultural way, and the protocols of my people. So it kind of, since then I've been on a very uh, strong healing process. So I'll be sober for 30 years, coming October 17th. It'll match my Skid Row day. So there's a power, there's a lot of power in this. Uh, This is a, a song I wrote in uh, Nesca language. Uh, it's a thank you song for all the people that have come to join in the event. The downtown east side is filled with folks from all across the world and like many different backgrounds and many different cultures. So with Heartbeats, we were able to bring that into the spotlight with a positive outlook. We were able to show the talents, the cultures, the ancestry, the oral tradition, all the pieces of which are really important to Indigenous peoples. 
And a lot of our expressions are through art, our spiritual beliefs, our politics, and stories of our everyday life is spoken through artwork. In our families, in our culture, in the Nishkat Nation, it's the father's side of the family, my dad's side of the family. Their first duties to me as I was being born, literally being born, is to catch me. And their first duty is to catch me with a blanket. As a child, your first response from your family, your dad's side of the family, is to be blanketed by a baby blanket, say by your grandmothers or whoever it's made by that side of the family. So you look at within your life, your lifetime, every time that you bring out a blanket, it tells the story of where you've been. If I were to walk around today, as many of you would, you would walk around with many layers of blankets. When you look at your life and where everything that you've gone through in your life, you have the ability to go back to it. And always, always, always remember where you came from. My mother and I are also hereditary chiefs in waiting. We've been waiting for our positions. As it turns out, um, I've been looking towards the Irish people actually to look towards how they do their cultural distinctions because those are passage of rights that our, our cultural groups have slowly lost and forgotten. It is a good musical event, but there's lots of great musical events out there. Importance is how we as communities come together and how people who wouldn't normally necessarily work together or participate or be involved in, in a shared experience, how they come together. Before you is the Luxtilum Drum Group and we are from the Carnegie Community Center in the downtown east side. Out of year one Hearts Beats, formed a desire from the people that were part of the drumming group to continue. So our group continued and we were known just as the cultural sharing group. And in consultation with the Musqueam Language School, um, we were able to really embrace the name Lukstelum, which is a Hokkabelum word that means always singing. So we had a feast, we acknowledged it, we went through the protocols and we gifted. So many people received gifts that night. The members of Kyolabu, we were invited to the witnessing ceremony. That sort of inspired me to think about a sort of a similar name, but in the Gaelic language. And I thought about what it might be. And Kyol is music and Abu means forever. I was curious to see, was there a similar ceremony that, that would have happened in Ireland like pre-Christian times. So we modified it for how we could do it between members of uh, Kyolabu and Luxtilum and that was the acknowledgement ceremony and part of that um, in tradition was to light a fire. So yeah, it was just kind of a small way to kind of acknowledge the relationship that's uh, being created between our two groups. Hearts Beats started with an idea from an Indigenous elder and has just blossomed into this community event that is looked forward to every single year. And it was just magical. It was the impact and the power of the drum between two cultures that have so much to offer each other. And it has just grown from that to where it is today. Because play music really brings people together. There's so many different cultures in, in downtown Eastside that needs to be expressed. And music is the way to do it because music involves everybody's personal feelings that are allowed to come out through music. Thank you.